2014, uh, well, we moved here from Hong Kong in 2011 um, with Lucy, Katie and Jack, who's now at university in the UK. Um, and at that time, Dulwich didn't exist. None of the area around here existed. Um, we sent the children to the Canadian International, uh, which was a great experience. But we also knew that Dulwich was up and coming. So we went to visit the open um, house and met Mr. Magnus for the first time. Um, started to get interest in the whole Dulwich culture, which we thought was a nice balance of British school and the curriculum, as well as the international experience. Um, and we decided to pursue it a bit more seriously and then started to pester Mr. Magnus and said it's all or nothing for us, three or, three or none. Um, and eventually they um, came in in the first cohort and the rest is history. It was a great choice then and we've carried it on through, still happy with the decision. Dulwich has also provided a lot of opportunities for our children, particularly in the sporting areas. Um, both Katie and Lucy have been involved in the Dulwich Games um, when they are in junior school, they really enjoyed doing that. Um, Katie's also been involved in the um, football uh, competitions in Phuket as well. So all those things have been really enjoyable for them and very inspiring and uh, they're the extra things that we have on top of the academics so they've really enjoyed those um, areas. Um, and then for myself actually, um, as I've been here also as a parent here for 10 years, um, over that time I've also been involved on the uh, Friends of Dulwich Committee, Parents Committee, um, as a junior school rep and also currently as a senior school rep. So I've really enjoyed working with the group and they're a fabulous committee to work with and um, it's been able to provide lots of uh, activities for the students and for the parents. So it's a wonderful committee. The children have all enjoyed music and being on the stage and on the sporting fields. Um, I remember coming into the school one morning and seeing a big poster on, of Katie on the column in the entranceway to the school playing the cello, which was there for many years. Proud moment as I walked past every day. Um, cardboard creations in the junior school library. Um, but obviously the sporting uh, prowess and the sporting opportunities that Sophie mentioned earlier, um, it's been great to see the girls going up and representing the school in the Dulwich Games, Yangon, Shanghai, elsewhere. Um, then obviously pretty proud of the achievements they've made academically, seeing um, results so far in IGCSEs and, and probably so far the crowning moment was seeing Jack graduate in his IB last year, um, or the year before, sorry. Uh, that was the first full graduation, I think, certainly since um, the pandemic finished. And it was great to see all of the students, all of the teachers, all of the parents come together and celebrate in such an amazing way and suddenly all be back in the room together, um, throwing their hats up in the air and <laughs> celebrating. And I think, for me, I remember Miss Ellis giving a particularly inspiring speech about walking through your own door in life. Um, and I think that resonated with us all. All in all, some fairly proud moments for us. To me, I think, you know, even driving here this morning, when you see people arriving in the uniforms, whether it's the sporting uniforms, the house uniforms, or the more formal uniforms, you know they're all part of a community going to the same place, and you know that whatever's going on in that building, and as it's grown over the years, you see, um, uh, you know, creativity, togetherness, a sense of family, a sense of belonging. So I think, you know, that also shines through in the individuals as they go and do things outside of school and after their school careers are over. Dulwich has, has created a sense of togetherness and, and family and, and pride as well. I think what makes Dulwich special to me is that despite age, gender, interests or like anything that makes us ourselves, we're allowed to be a part of this one big thing. Since the very beginning, Dulwich has both fostered and encouraged all of my interests, and they really supported what I'd like to do. Like, for example, um, in netball, even though I'm younger, I am on the U19 team, and it hasn't, just because I'm younger, it hasn't stopped um, what I've been able to do, and I just really like that, despite how old we are or how we think or how we act, we can all come together and represent Dulwich. I'm so thankful for the Dulwich community. I've had so much support academically, emotionally, physically. And I know even though my journey through Dulwich is almost over, 
I'm so thankful for my time here and I'll always reflect positively about this school. Well, I think when we first joined, obviously, like Chris was saying, we didn't even know what the building was going to be like, what any of the situation was going to be like, and it was quite impressive when we came here on that first day. Um, and I think because we were all new and a quite a small family, I think we were about 800 students or families at that time, so, you know, it was quite small. Um, and it just felt, and also only at that stage, only the junior school and Ducks was built, so it was a very small area at that time. But it felt so much more of a community because we were all together at that time. And I think, you know, starting something new, afresh for all of us, um, it was something quite unique, I guess, to be one of the sort of founding members of this amazing school. But I'd add as well, having seen our eldest Jack now graduate, he's at university in the UK, um, the connections that he's still got with his um, cohort um, and his year group and the years above and below him, for sure that's carried on. Um, and as a result of his friendships and connections and the same with the girls. You know, we've developed close friends, um, close bonds with other families here. And there's no doubt that will carry on forward.